Ferrari 458 Italia. Um, we bought the car two years ago, and uh, over these two years, um, it's just been incredible. So we bought the car second hand um, with 900 miles on the clock, so um, it, it hadn't done much, um, but it's done just over 6,000 now. Um, so we've used the car a lot, um, but it's been worth it, it's been totally worth it. So um, the car is finished in a Rosso Scuderia Red, um, and that is slightly brighter than the Rosso Corsa, making this one actually slightly rarer than most red Ferraris. Uh, but as well as that in the interior, we've gone for the cream interior with the contrast red stitching, um, and the carbon pack too, which includes carbon around the steering wheel, on the flappy paddles, just around the rev counter and in the centre console. So some of the options on the 458 include the yellow rev counter, the adaptive headlights, the diamond style seats, a tracking system, the, the Scuderia shields, and the reversing camera. So the 458 is powered by a 4.5 litre V8 engine, uh, producing 562 brake horsepower, uh, meaning a top speed of 202 miles an hour and a 0 to 60 time of 3.2 seconds. Now the incredibly smooth gear changes are thanks to a double clutch gearbox, um, which makes this car even more comfy and more of a daily car. Uh, more usable basically. Seeing as most of the buttons on the 458 are tend to be around the steering or around the driver's uh, seating position, then the interior of the car is actually fairly simple. Like the center console for example, you've only got the air conditioning unit, the main control unit for the left hand screen, and just the three buttons and the windows. So um, there's a lot of space around here, it's, like, it's all hollow here which um, enables room for a cup holder believe it or not. So the big question, um, is it usable? Now after living with the car for two years now, um, I would say definitely yes. Um, I think it's the reason why you see most of them in London, you see quite a lot in London to be fair. The car is also very small, uh, making it easy to park for example, hence why you see quite a few in London like I said. So one thing uh, the 458 brought to um, modern Ferraris now is the interior, especially the steering wheel, so I'm just going to run through that now. Um, so as you can see on the steering wheel, we've got a lot of carbon fibre. Like I said, we've got the carbon fibre pack on the car. In terms of buttons, um, on, the, on the wheel you've got the indicators of course, on the right and left, right at the top. Uh, and then just below that you've got the wipers on the right hand side and the lights on the left. Um, then on the left hand side again you've got the bumpy road button, which at first we didn't realise um, what it did, but after looking it up, uh, we found out that it, it, made, it pretty much just softens up the suspension. It can only be used in race mode and sport mode um, because it's already activated in wet mode um, because in wet mode you have all the assists on pretty much. Um, and below that you've of course got the engine start button. And on the right hand side you've got the Manatino which is basically your driving modes ranging from wet mode to ESC off. And overall the, um, the, the 458's interior is actually very spacious. Um, I have all my camera gear in the, in the footwell all the time and I can still comfortably sit there during long journeys, say going to car events or whatnot. The 458 is also really good for long journeys. Um, now like I've been saying before, if you put it in sport mode and put it in auto, um, the car completely shuts down and goes all quiet and if you press the bumpy road button, then the suspension is softened further um, to give you a nice smooth ride. Um, so like I said at the beginning, this car can be a really loud, aggressive supercar or it can be toned down into just a highway cruiser. In terms of fuel economy, it's actually pretty good, um, seeing as we do drive this car a lot. Um, but when we do need to fill up the tank, it costs around 100, I think, to fill it up. Um, but I think we get around 25 miles per gallon, I believe. So enough of me sitting in here telling you about the car. Let's get out on the road and have some fun.